There is little worse than accidentally hitting record or accidentally moving a track here in GarageBand. But thanks to our friend, the undo button, you're covered. And in this GarageBand quick tip, I'm going to tell you all about it. Let's go. So yes, the concept of an undo button is not exactly rocket science, but there's some things you need to know about what it can and what it cannot do that are really important. So let's say that you've accidentally hit record. Yeah. On the wrong track. Well, I do this all the time, and what it does is it creates a little piece of audio like this. Now, you could go in and painstakingly tap and delete and then move these parts and cover it up, or you can just hit this button up the top here. So you won't have an undo button until you've done something in GarageBand, but once you've done something, all you need to do is hit that undo button and it goes away. Now, what some folks don't realize is that there's also a redo button. Now, instead of putting it, you know, right here where it would make sense, what GarageBand does is it makes you tap and hold on the undo button. And there you go. You can redo the last thing. So if we tap on that one, it will redo that recording. To undo, we just tap the undo again. To demonstrate one of the limitations of the undo, let's close this project and reopen it. And what you'll notice is our undo button is missing. Now, if we do something like move this audio to the wrong spot, the second that we close and save the project, it also removes all of our levels of undo. So keep that in mind that before you close your project, make sure that everything is in order because once you close it, all of your undos go away. All right, finally, I've made this an absolute mess just to show you that you do have multiple levels, up to 10 levels of undo. So if we tap on the undo button, it's gonna undo the last thing we did. Now, if you want to know what that thing was, we can actually tap and hold on this one. And now you'll see we have the undo and the redo. So we can hit the undo undo button there. And then every time we tap and hold, it will tell us the last thing we did and the last thing we undid. And it's actually a really handy way to know how many levels to go back. Again, tap and hold, hit undo, tap and hold, hit undo. So you can actually really clearly see what you're undoing and redoing here in GarageBand. And you'll know you've reached the end of the levels of undo you have when you tap and hold and you only have the redo option. So there you have it. Undo is your friend. If you make a mistake, if you do something wrong here in GarageBand, don't spend time messing around trying to fix it. Just hit the undo button. And remember, make sure that you do all your undos before you close your projects. I hope you found this one useful. We've got more than 50 other tips in the playlist. That's linked down below. I hope you find those useful too. And I'll see you next time.